Morning guys, Shuka Gal here, Countryman's daughter, Helsha Beach. Here is at Pillars. At Pillars right around at the front of Helsha Beach. Pillars Bar. This tree here. I grew up knowing this tree here. When my grandma used to live down here in Helsha Beach. And, and that's it. Go right back around to Fort Clarence Beach down there, down at the bottom there. It's a beautiful day. Sea's calm, it's pretty, and people are catching fishes. Melton is down there catching fish. So these are Milton's catch for the day and this quite sure most of you have not seen. Oh. Can you hold it for now? Sure. Oh, sucker fish. Now when I see this thing right here, it sucks. When it was alive it will suck it. You'll see that in the fish aquarium. They normally pick, eat the fungus, bacteria. We have other fisher people here. Good morning. This is the catch of the day. It's a blue bone. And this is what I have caught today. This morning, Balawu. Actually, my first catch was the Balawu. Then the blue bone. Then grouper. I got Jack. This is Jack. This is Chad. Shad. Shad. Is it S H A D? Mm -hmm. oh. And this is a sucker fish. I love this fish. It's full of flesh, but it's very slimy. Well, that's the catch. This is my favorite catch. It's the blue one. I love this. I think we should do brown stew on this. What do you say? Yeah. We don't know about that part. <laughs> right. All right, guys. Shuka girl here. So this is how we are going to do it. The long jaw or the blue bone, right? We are going to curry it with some mango, a little tambourine, and and stuff, right? And the uh, sucker fish, and the shad, and the uh, pipers are balo. We are going to fry. All right, so we're going to put some salt and some black pepper on it, and we are going to fry these and curry these. We will show you the finished product. I'm aiming to do it with some pumpkin rice. All right, this is the pumpkin rice. So we're going to put on the pumpkin to boil, and then we're just going to add a little salt to it. All right, enough to to flavor. And then we're going to cover this and we're going to put it on the ball. You will see the finished product when it's finished. All right? We're going to add butter to it or you can add coconut milk if you want and some seasoning and stuff, thyme and scallion and stuff to make it really nice. Wagwam viewer, this is Milton from Bangladesh in Countryman, Jamaica. Enjoying the Jamaican culture. This is something different for me. The, as you seen earlier in the video about the pumpkin rice, this is how they cook the pumpkin. Then later on, put the butter, scallion, and the rice. So I just wanted to get you a little touch on that. This is totally new for me, and different. Okay, so the pumpkin rice is almost finished. It is looking nice. It has this beautiful curry look to it. So we let it just steam down. So this is the um the jack and the piper the blue bone or um long jaw we call it some people call it here in jamaica right they call fishes in different name 
So in there we have some mango, we have pumpkin, we have tamarind, we have um, onion, pepper, some black pepper, a little maggi all purpose, some scallion on it, right? And the great scotch bonnet. So we're going to let it cook down until the vegetables are soft enough and ready, right? Then we'll show you the finished product. So our fish are frying. Fire is going. All right, so we are here with the finished product. So we have the pumpkin rice. Looks quite nice. I've never really tried the sucker fish before. I'm going to try it today. And we have a shad. And I wanted the long jaw head, the blue bones head. There's a mango with it. All right, so I'm going to just taste it. And do the sucker fish first. Mm. Actually, it has no bones. It's fleshy. It's sweet. It has a sweet flavor to it. Well, I think everybody knows how the shad. The shad tastes. Let me try getting a piece. It has a lot of fish. I'm going to put some on the pumpkin rice. I want to try. Mm. I want to try a piece of the fish head. Explain what does the chat taste like. Please. Alright, the sucker fish tastes sweet. No bones. The shad. The shad has a different flavor. Many sea fishes, all the sea fishes in the sea have a different flavor. So this one has a sweet taste. This one has a kind of milky, nice, you see the white flesh right there? It's more firmer, all right? While the line jaw is more, it's a harder fish, all right? So I'm going, I'm going to try it with some of the rice. Maybe at the bottom. Tastes nice. Lovely. And the, the flavor from the, the mango, it's a bit sour. And the pumpkin makes it a bit sweet. And the vinegar peppers and stuff, it has this nice, it just have this overall nice sweet taste to it. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely meal. You have to talk about my favorite pumpkin rice. How is it? The pumpkin rice is very, it's nice. As you can see, the pumpkin gives it such a pretty color. And it just, it tastes nice because you had the butter and the seasoning to it. So, some more. You can eat this alone without eating um, anything with it. Just the rice alone. It's nice. Yep, it's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Hello guys, thanks for tuning in. Countryman Jamaica. This is the final product. My favorite pumpkin rice. Curry Jack and Long Jaw Piper. With mango chut uh, with mango. A lot of things, but uh, let me just explain what's in the plate. We got balawu fried balawu and the fried sucker fish that's another one of my favorite but uh, today we have someone new which is countryman's last granddaughter Mishka I call her Mishka uh, hi guys introduce yourself uh, tell them your name hi I'm Hope Camilla Mishka Chin countryman's last granddaughter today is my birthday happy birthday thank you and and today you're gonna taste it you're gonna tell us yeah, what it Milton prepared me a birthday dish <laughs> and I am the remote basically yeah, a water I'm not gonna pretty up not knowing me at all because as much as me pretty I'm talk rob and pot water so <laughs> I'm going to dig in Alright, let's see what you got. What do you want to try the first? 
Saka fish. Never had it before. As much as my countryman granddaughter. <laughs> Never tried it before. Good. Not on you do this? Well, Shuku did. I caught it. <laughs> Shuku prepared it. But it's not. Right. You, you, you're going to tell us what it tastes like, the sucker fish. What does it taste like compared uh, to other fishes? There's not really a difference, you know. Like, it tastes like fried fish. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like fried fish. No, seriously. It tastes like fried fish. Okay. It's soft. Crunchy. All right. Let yes. me let me give you time. You can. The seasoning well. Mommy, can I put? Um. Well, I can taste the salt. Number mm. one. And All right. Let's go. Kind of chewy in our way. In a as in as soft as the rest of fish them like the jaw. So you like the you like the. Yeah, it's fish. good. That's one of my favorite. What do you want to try next? <laughs> well, you picked my favorite pumpkin yeah, rice. Yeah, pumpkin rice. And this year? Mm. That's good. Mm. Mm. get this, I swear. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> mm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday without candle and cakes. Happy birthday. I want you to try the curry. Yeah, definitely. That's the long jaw piper. Yep. I want you to have a little bone in there. A lot of bone. Not really, it's a small bone. Mm hmm, but I want you to have bone. Alright. You see, most fish, where you just have two sides and no bone in it, and other fish apart here. You have a lot of bones. A lot. See? Is that can I say? So one year. Uh, Everywhere in it is a bone. And the bone kind of have a bluish look to it. That's why we call it blue bone. Or long jaw. It's the same thing as piper, right? Piper. But there's a lot of bones. A lot of bones. Mm. So it's good. Good. How about the baby jack? Mm. I'll leave that for last. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, viewers, for tuning in. Please subscribe. Bye, guys. Girly. Yes, this is the girl that breed nine puppies yesterday. Come. Come, girl. Come. Daddy loves you. Come. Come get my touch. You know you want my touch. Come. You're stubborn. All right, guys. See them. Wanna listen to me? I wanna see them puppies. Now you wanna come. Now you wanna come. Go. Go by yourself. Yeah, this is the puppies that he has. In there. You don't want to show them. You don't want to show them, huh? I have to pay you to show them on YouTube, huh? Can I see them, please? Please, girly? Let me see them. Girly, move. Out. You not listen to me. Move out of my way. Hey, why you not listen? You know you run point. What's it? Ten, Early, two, four, six, eight. Ten babies yesterday. Early. Ten of them. And right? she's taking them back. Right? She has them around the back and a little place down at the corner around there. Right? They're adorable. I hope. All of them make it, I'm not quite sure, but that is a lot of puppies. Alright, come girly. My hair is girly. 
Right, and she's coming for her babies. Look how she's going to bring them. Look how she's going to leave. Look how she's leaving her. She's going to bring them back. Go. All right, all right. Take time, take time. She's mad. Because Milton wants to show the puppies. He's going to bring them back now.